And our next talk is by uh, Yu Jung Choi. She's going to tell us about uh, how to build an embryo, educational efficacy of 3D printed embryo models in pieces or on block in enhancing spatial and temporal anatomy learning. Um, thank you, Dr. Thompson. Hello, my name is Yu Jung Choi, and I worked on educational research under Dr. Lee Stelly's um, supervision. And here is the example of the 3D printed embryo models used in this study. So embryology is fundamental to adult anatomy, anatomical variation, and congenital anomalies. However, in medical education, embryology has had minimal context hours for a long time compared to other courses. Also for students, um, students tend to have a hard time understanding 3D and 4D aspects of the rapid embryonic development with studying uh, 2D figures from the textbooks. So previous studies from our lab developed the 3D printed model and tested its educational efficacy compared to other learning resources. And the results show that 3D printed embryo model is more effective than other resources. Also in that study, students expressed they wanted more interactive feature, so they wanted to take models apart, like Legos. Um, so with that result and constructive feedbacks and literature supports, building blocks, enhancing spatial visualization ability, we developed the modular 3D printed embryo models for the head and neck development. So on the left side is the 3D printed embryo models and block. So you can see all the internal structures are intact in a solid single piece. And on the right side is the modular 3D printed embryo models. So you can see pharyngeal products can be detachable. I know it's not a lot of pieces, but it still gives visual access to certain structures. So we obtained histological slides from the Carnegie collection and we segmented and rendered to make these 3D printed models. And it's with fit embryo models, head and neck region only, so we chose the head and neck development to facilitate students visualize these um, complex structures involved in this limited and small region to help them reduce their cognitive load. Also in this study, we wanted to see how this um, interactive feature would affect on student learning and student spatial understanding of embryonic anatomy. So the hypothesis is learning head and neck development with the 3D printed embryo models in multiple pieces will give better learning outcomes compared to the learning from the same model and block, which is the single piece model. So the study was uh, exempted by Comer and we recruited 184 first year med students enrolled in an integrated gross anatomy course. And the study was conducted during their um, active learning review session. And all the participants took the pre-quiz, which had the spatial and non-spatial items. Then they were randomized into two groups, control groups and experimental groups. So control group interacted with the single case model, model and block, and experimental group interacted with the modular model, uh, model in pieces. So each group engaged in self-directed learning group activities. Uh, they were provided with the worksheet, which had the same concept, same learning objectives, and same instructions. After the activity, they took the post quiz and optional survey. Then they switched the learning resources and completed the respected, uh, respective worksheets. As they exit the review session, they selected their preferred learning model. All the data analysis were completed with these tests, quantitatively and qualitatively. So in our learning outcomes comparison, regardless of the model type, both control and experimental groups post quiz performance enhanced significantly with an effect size of 0.47. This indicates interaction with the 3D printed models has a positive effect on student learning. Furthermore, we perform item analysis. Um, in both pre quiz and post quiz, we had spatial items and non spatial items. So, spatial items tested the embryonic structures, organs, their spatial relations to each other and non-spatial item tested more lecture-based um, contents. So for spatial items, both control and experimental groups, post-quiz score, post-quiz performance enhanced significantly with an effect size of 0.45. Interestingly, post-quiz score of the control group was significantly higher than the experimental groups. For non-spatial item coded in blue, 
there was no significant difference between pre and post quizzes within both groups. Also, there was no statistical difference in pre quiz and post quiz between groups. So this indicates interaction with 3D printed embryo model has a positive effect on students' spatial understanding of embryonic anatomy, but interaction with model and block, which is single piece model, um, is more effective for student spatial understanding. Before they switch the learning resources, both groups rated the assigned 3D printed embryo models highly in that the model was engaging and they would use the model for other regions and also they would recommend the model to future students and there was no significant difference between groups responses. After they interacted with both resources, um, students selected their preferred learning model. Both control and experimental groups selected the modular model to be their preferred model. Even though the, the lead results show that higher, uh, results show the higher um, learning outcomes for spatial items um, from interaction with the model and blog, which is the single piece model. In thematic analysis, uh, both groups show the similar strength in that the 3D printed model gives tactile learning style and better visualization. Um, for the constructive themes, they were also similar in that they wanted more guided video tutorial in using 3D printed models, and also they wanted more clear temporal dimension. In conclusion, 3D printed embryo models are effective learning resources for student learning and student spatial understanding of embryonic anatomy for the head and neck development. But control group who interacted with the single piece model performed better for spatial items than the experimental group who interacted with the modular model. Therefore, the hypothesis is rejected. Regardless of the result, uh, students still prefer the modular 3D printed model. Also, students perceive the 3D printed models as effective visual aids, but they wanted more passive way to learn from the models. Limitations in this study include there were only 15 minutes to interact with the model, and there was different group dynamics, and only one detachable um, piece was from the modular model, and only short-term analysis was completed, and only 11 items were tested in pre-quiz and post-quizzes. I want to acknowledge everyone on this slide who made this um, project possible. Thank you for listening, and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Yujang. Great presentation. We will take any questions now. Um, you can submit your questions in the chat box. Um, I have a question. Uh, if uh, based on your your findings, how would you um, move forward with this information? So currently, I'm working on. Um, still Mblux, just single piece model, but I'm working on um, the, like showing more clear temporal dimension for the facial development on the several models. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so you're taking some of the feedback and working on that. Yes. Very nice, very nice. Excellent. Any additional questions? You can submit them in the chat box. Okay. Looks like, oh, have a comment, but just love <laughs> that you implemented feedback from last year's capstone, so building off of last year. So, uh, doesn't look like we have any more questions, so great work, Yujung, and we'll Thanks. move on to our next presenter. Thank you. Excellent. So 